On this trip, it's actually early October and the fish have fallen into the typical fall patterns. Uh, the fish are fattening up for the winter time and the bulls are becoming more and more common. We started out at a different location and that location proved to be unproductive so we moved a couple miles down and by that time it was already mid-morning so we decided to troll and this is actually John's first time trolling with the planer board. The cool thing about fishing with the planer board and having a buddy with you is when somebody hooks up the second person can actually cast in the same area and target the other stripers that are in the same school. On this trip, I'm using a church tackle planer board. Now this planer board is different from what I usually use. Um, I like to use a Lure Jensen planer board uh, most of the time just because it's a better board that grabs water uh, a lot easier and it planes out more perpendicular to where you are. Now the church tackle planer board, on the other hand, which is the one you, you see in the video, it's a more versatile uh, planer board. As you can see there, I just clipped it on. I cast out my lure and I clip it on and I can start trolling right away. And when I'm tired of trolling and I just want to start casting now, I can just clip it right off. So this is a great example of why the church tackle planer board should be used. So as I'm trolling along, a striper actually hammers my lure, but I wasn't able to hook up. I reel in my lure and my planer board and I clip off the planer board and I start casting sideways because you know when you uh, hook up into a striper or get a hit from a striper you know that there's a school nearby and on this cast I actually hook up into one. It's important to know the behavior of the striper that day. Stripers are the pickiest feeders and uh, typically I like to troll from 15 to 20 feet from the water's edge. When stripers are hunting they like to hunt in the shallows that's where most of the bait fish are and the water clarity and sun position plays a big role in that as well. It takes a lot of trial and error to figure out what the behavior of the striper is that day. Surface activity usually tells you how far out they are or how close they are to shore and if you follow the bait fish uh, they'll usually take you right to the stripers. If you're wondering why I'm taking so long to reel in this striper uh, when you hook up into a striper, you don't want to muscle it in. You want to take your time. Uh, these stripers will come and slap your lure and most of the time uh, they won't hook up properly. They'll slap it on the side and you'll catch them on the side, on the head, under the chin. You can actually rip out the hook from the fish or bend the hook or break off the split rings. It's a good thing I didn't muscle this one in because I barely hooked it right under the chin. While I'm trolling, uh, I like to pause or change the action of the lure. By doing that, it entices the stripers to bite and here is a perfect example of that. Uh, as I'm trolling, I sped the lure up and I slowed it down. And right when I sped it up again, that's when the striper hits. So if you're wondering why I'm trolling so close to shore, uh, it's because we noticed the stripers were biting uh, closer to shore uh, most of the time it seems like they're chasing bait fish or fattening up for the winter time so they're hunting in that zone and that's why I kept it at that 15 to 20 foot mark from the shoreline and that was pretty much the uh, strike zone. Today I want to thank our supporters, Speed Lures. You can find them on Facebook, uh, Valley Rod and Gun in Clovis, California, Ink It Stitch It in Fresno, California, and a special shout out to Dave Hurley from the Fresno Bee and Western Outdoor News for allowing us to do a weekly fishing report on the California Aqueduct. If you found this video helpful or if you want to learn more about fishing at the California Aqueduct, uh, make sure to visit us at thefishaholics.com. Again, that's thefishaholics.com. I'll have a link to our website below in the descriptions.